In today's Vet Girl video, we demonstrate how to surgically treat an anal gland abscess. This video is of a four-year-old male-neutered Cavalier King Charles Spaniel who is presenting for acutely acting painful and for excessive grooming of the perineal region. On physical exam, we identified swelling, inflammation, pain, and redness of the right anal gland. Upon further exam, we can see a small necrotic area of tissue in the center of the surface of the anal gland. Using your sedative of choice, we like hydromorphone and diazepam personally, we clipped a large area around the perineal region, wrapping the tail to help keep it clean, and gently scrubbed the affected area. Next step, making the necrotic lesion or opening wider so we can manually express and evacuate the purulent material. Next, Using a dilute chlorhexidine solution, we're going to flush out the anal gland. Make sure to press the syringe against the skin to help form a seal, then flush copiously with pressure to help dislodge any purulent material from the anal gland duct. We do this several times until the lavage fluid is clear. Next, using an olive tip, curved syringe, or a 20 gauge polyethylene intravenous catheter, or whatever appropriately sized diameter you can find, attempt to cannulate the anal gland duct to further flush out the duct. You want to do this until the fluid is clear. Make sure to express the contralateral anal gland to empty it. It's potentially affected also. This one's a juicy one, which is why we always like to put the affected anal gland abscess on the upside so the contralateral anal gland contents don't get into our surgical opening. Using the same technique mentioned before, cannulate the duct and flush the other anal gland until the fluid is clear. This is a quick, simple procedure that should be done under sedation. Sometimes you can try to medically manage these without sedating them with just antibiotics and warm compresses, but when they're this purulent, a flush is a must. Don't forget that e-collar, antibiotic therapy, and analgesics like tramadol or NSAIDs, and to recheck your patient five to seven days later to make sure the anal gland is healing. Most importantly, always close your mouth while flushing or expressing anal glands. Take it from that girl.